Okay, in this mini video, we're going to expand on what we had done in a previous video where we have a caterers database. And we have relationships between their employees and the engagement, and there's an assistant chef in there as well. We want to now establish a relationship between the menu items that the caterer offers and the engagements at which they can be used. So I'm first going to go into the definitions table, and I'm going to create a menu items table. And in this menu items table, I am going to give it a primary key, which I am going to call. Excuse me. I'm going to call that menu item ID. Give it a primary key, and in here I can put a description of what the menu item is, like cherry cheesecake or something like that. Now, at this particular um, catering office we have many menu items that can appear on many enga many engagements and each engagement can have many menu items because you have you know main course you have dinner and all those have their own have dessert they all have their own menu items so we have to do a many to many relationship between engagement and menu items and i had previously uh, worked on this a while ago and forgot that i had put these tables in here so let's get rid of them for now leave that Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this menu items table down a little bit. And you know that to create a many-to-many -many relationship, you have to put the table in the middle, which is a junction table, and give it a name, which is usually a mashup of the, of the two tables that need to have a relationship, a many-to-many -many relationship. Then what I do is I grab a relationship line. I take the one end and I put it on the menu item ID. I take the many end and I put it on the menu items, engagement menu items junction table. The other thing I do is I grab the relationship table, the relationship line again, put the one end on engagement and the many, whoops, that didn't go. I take the one end and put it on engagement until it lights up. And the many end and put that on the engagement menu items table. So now you see, and let me just give us a little more space here, we've got a situation where we have both a, you know, we have a, a junction table here with two foreign keys in it. I click on that, we click on columns, we open it up, and make those primary keys so that now you have a concatenated key. The last thing you have to do is you have to set this up so that you know how many servings are served at each engagement for each menu item. And to do that, you would put a non-key column here in the junction table called num servings, referring to the number of servings at that engagement. The last thing you're going to want to do is have a relationship between customers and the engagement. Each customer will be associated with many engagements, but an engagement would have only one customer. I'm going to leave that to you to figure out. But that's how you create a many-to-many -many relationship between engagement and menu items, and how you keep track of the number of servings of each menu item at each engagement.